All right, so this is a suggestion via a donation. The name of the video is, Do Gen Z Expect Everything Handed to Them? Uh, Gen Z versus Boomer Debate the Generational Gap. This is coming from IGV, guys. Uh, let's check it out. I can tell you this right now. I'm a millennial, so I'm kind of in the, well, I guess I'm not in the middle, but I'm closer to Gen Z. But let's see where this is taking us, guys. We need to get rid of the royal family. It's outdated and unnecessary. Yes. I agree. I agree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what is that? Or I refuse to worship anybody because of their name. Hi. <laughs> or their family. Hi. I don't care about that. Thank you. Young people face harder challenges than previous generations. I'm going to give you my uh, opinion, then I'm going to uh, listen to theirs. Um, yes and no. We have technology, right? Um, that actually helps us a whole lot, right? Uh, the challenges are just different. Um, they're both equally hard, but they're different. I'd say Gen Z, um, they're, they're the most complaining bunch of people I've ever heard in my life, bro. Criers, that's what they are. <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. But anyway, um, younger generations have a different challenges, uh, mainly because of social media and the impact of social media and globalization. Um, the older generations really didn't have to worry about much more than their street, it seems at times, guys. It is now a lot harder. To oh, and buying houses for like popsicle sticks. To buy a house. It's now a lot harder to secure a job. What do you do? Are you renting? Do you have a mortgage? So I live with my parents right. and I'm 23. Right. And do you work? Yes. Yeah. But actually, you're lucky then because you're still living at home and presumably you're not paying any rent or mortgage or anything. I am paying rent. When I first got my first house, it probably only cost about £23,000 or something, but then I was all Get out right now. Leave. I don't want to hear your voice anymore. Me earning £300 a year. We worked hard and yeah. we didn't have a car and we didn't have Oh, well, okay, yeah, okay. I, 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 okay, you can sit back down for a second there. Have a colour telly and I think people these days expect to have all those things yeah. as a right mm. when you have a worked right? hard for them. I wouldn't say that we expect those things. So you're saying you can't afford rent, you can't afford to move out of home. So I have a car. You have a car, have yeah. So you don't have to have a car, do you? You could get the bus. Okay, yeah, but th that's how I choose to spend my money. Exactly, way. but then you're saying that you don't have enough money because that's your choice as to what you spend your money on, as to what you see is necessary. Prices. So Logic. Solid logic, actually. And Telling me a car is necessary. Me. Of course it's necessary. Why? Because we live in an era where cars are necessary to get around. Why? Because we do. That's and, and that's that difference there. Remember I told you, they only had to care about what was on their street or maybe within like a, like a two to three mile radius. They can walk that. These days, globalization changes everything. We actually want to take these journeys a couple hours away from home occasionally. Right? That's just the point. So what other alternatives are there then? Well... You're missing the point. We didn't but, have a car the until... the world evolved from, from then yes, to now. You can yes. manage without a car. That's what yeah, I'm that's saying. Fair, that's I mean, fair. whether it's Ubers you, you get or whether it's a bus or the train, not that they're reliable these days. Or but, affordable at all, like right. in yeah. respect. But, but there, are, okay. there are other alternatives. So you choose to have a car. Gen Z are lazy. They expect... It is, in fact, a choice. Everything to be handed to them. Gen Z are lazy. They expect everything to be handed to them. <clears throat> Yes. Yes, I think there's a sense of entitlement yes. there that they yes. expect to have to have things like cars, holidays, phones, a certain standard of living. Which That's social media and globalization. It seems we seem to be kind of going in a circle here. Um, the difference between then and now is social media. Everyone having to kind of live, or not, not having to, they're choosing to. In fact, it's a choice. Um, they're choosing to kind of keep up with what other people are doing. But what you don't realize is that people are only posting their wins, never their losses. Okay, so everything you see is great. And look at the car I just rented. I'm going to act like it's mine, right? Look at the, the vacation that someone else took me on. I'm telling you, that's really what it is. Which they haven't earned. We don't expect everything to be handed to us because we do everything and get absolutely nothing back. There'll be people who will go to university, they'll get a doctorate degree, they'll spend thousands and thousands of thousands of pounds, get themselves in debt, 
and go and get a job in the NHS, earning right. less than what somebody would have done for doing something completely different. Yeah, I think the, the times are changing specifically when it comes to education. Um, I have a master's degree. Um, I've never used it for anything. Okay, like no, nothing that I've ever really have done in my life uh, was due to that. Right? Nothing. Um, and I see people that are getting trades and they're spending nowhere near as much as was spent on my education. Right. And they're, they are making so much more money than I would have made if I would have stayed in whatever, like my, if I would have curated a museum with my degree, for example, right? Um, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense uh, any longer, it seems. As time goes on, people won't go to university and spend all that money yeah. on a degree that they're not going to use. The reason why university is there is an option to be able to expand your horizons and your opportunities in order to enable you to get a better yeah. job. I, I agree with that. I came out of uni and applied for 76 jobs and I did not get an interview for I once. Can believe How many people were in your class? Think about that, right? Uh, the reason why a lot of these people are not doing it is because now everyone is like college, no, 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 high school, then college, of course, right? So if everyone is now doing it, look at the pool. You're wondering why you're getting all these crazy degrees and then all of a sudden you're not able to get a job because because it's not special anymore, bro. It was once special. It's no longer special. When she was in school, it was special. It was special, bro. Not everyone was out there doing it. Now. Everyone is out there doing it. You get what I'm saying here? Um, supply and demand. And, and that's why I will push my kids towards trades. The union applied for 76 jobs and I did not get an interview for months. I can believe that. And I, and I agree that as it is, university should be paid for for every yeah. year like it was after the war. Pensioners should stay off the roads. Pen I don't know what a pensioner is. Oh, well, like retirees, maybe? Okay. Um... I think there should be, in fact, a, just like how you can't drive specifically, like before you're a certain age, in certain states it's different. I think like in the state of Georgia, you could drive at 15, right? While in Spain, you can't drive until you're like 18, 20, something like that, guys, right? Um, and so the point is here, I'm trying to make here, uh, the, just like you can't drive before a certain age, I personally think you should not be able to drive after a certain age. Um, and I think we need to all sit down, right? Uh, we definitely need to sit down or we need to come up with like a test that people over a very specific age uh, need to, to take so they understand that 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 lane right get out of get out of the lane right now if you think you're going to go 10 miles an hour under or 20 miles an hour under the speed limit please get off the highway right now if that's what you're trying to do with your time i think you shouldn't have your license the reason why pensioners should stay off the road <laughs> is because i feel like driving tests in your era was you get in the car you do a bit of driving and you pass your test there's been no retest from that when I did my driving test in 2022, right, I Fair. had to know the ins and outs, the upside downs of the cars, the tread depth, the theory side of it. And since tread depth? Since I've passed my really? <laughs> That's, I mean, UK, but uh, why do you have to know the tread depth? A test. <laughs> I see too many pensioners on the road pulling over. And one of my main <laughs> things is that I've seen a woman on a roundabout, an old lady, bless her soul, and she went the wrong way around the roundabout. Say and the news today, there were lots more reports, but not necessarily pensioners, of people going the wrong way on motorway. So I yeah. think, I don't think it's necessarily pensioners. because. Well, listen, I think it's fair. If people are going the wrong way, they're just trying to go the correct way. The problem is, is that you guys drive on the wrong side of the road. We need to work on that, right? Um, um, then everyone will be driving on the right side, the correct side. There are plenty of boy racers or girl racers or whatever who um, go too fast these days on the yeah. roads and they're dangerous. But mm. why not introduce just like an annual profession test? Right. Yeah, and I definitely agree. I yeah. Think that old and people particularly when you get to a certain age. Gen Z can't save. Me. Listen, I like, uh, guys, the, the boomer, I like her a lot. She seems to be, you know. She's, she's there, logically. Money because they're too impulsive. All right, is it me or Gen Z can't save money because it, no, they're not making enough money. Uh, if we look at the, like where they are, well, how about this? I think a lot of Gen Z is probably doing social media and they're probably making a lot more money than they ever have in their entire life and will ever make in their entire life. If they try to stop social media, they will never see that money again. Um, they will literally, 
there's nowhere else that you can make social media money except for social media. Trust, trust and believe. Um, so if they're not on social media and they're not like moderately successful on social media, then they're not saving anything. They're not making enough money. Uh, like if you're working a nine to five um, or if you're working something from your degree, there's no way you're saving money in this economy, bro. That's just real. There you go. Oh, that's a hard <laughs> one. I'm not going to lie. I myself am really impulsive with my spending, but I don't speak for the whole of Gen Z. I just think that there's a lot of pressures around saving Social media. Due to find trying to be something you're not. Financially Say that. Is. But then also due to also. like social media, things like that. We live Telling in an you. age of materialism. So the pressures for you growing up, nobody had a £30,000 Rolex watch. No one was riding around in this latest sports car. We now live in an era where looks and how you look is more important than your actual assets. I would see it as just a waste of money and definitely not a priority. You might want it. And I agree. You might want it. I do agree. But, but you can't I, afford yeah, it. See, That's no. what you said. I do uh. think that... That right there is an issue because again, this is where the the two sides can't actually step outside of themselves for a second and look logically. Um, she, if she's Gen Z, she in fact grew up around social media and globalization. Okay, you, she's no longer competing against I don't know Suzanne or Becky down the street. She's competing against uh, Suzanne and Becky seven thousand miles away, bro. Understand that's what's going on here. They're on the same social media, literally, right? So they see, so she sees her favorite influencer that most likely lives in either New York or LA um, with all of these fancy things. And she's like, why don't I have all these fancy things? And it's just a competition, guys, right? That's all they see. They, they grew up completely on the internet. I think I had probably in my life, I was born in 1986. Um, I think I had a couple of years before I even touched the internet for the first time. I think maybe 96, seven, maybe first, my first computer was in the year 2001, for example. Right. Um, so just, just be fully aware. That was a, I remember AOL, AOL instant messaging. That was a cool thing back in the day, right? It wasn't social media. We weren't competing against each other, but they in fact grew up on Facebook as like their childhood memories. Keep that in mind. Imagine Facebook. Their childhood memories was Facebook. Uh, so this is all they know. Unfortunately, we, we did that to them, right? But I'm still going to make fun of them at every single turn I can. I'm going to. I'm not stopping that. Hey, and I agree. You might want it, I do agree. But, but you can't I, afford it. That's what no, you said. I do think that it is easy for you to say in your generation where there was no pressures. Yeah, it is. In order for you to have the latest watch, the latest car, the latest hairdo. The it's still vain and, and full of nonsense, though. The latest lip no, filler. No, but just the pressures to have enough, enough money just exactly. to, to, to live, exactly. to eat. But then that's... The, then, the, we wouldn't have thought of, of luxuries like that, but... We wouldn't entertain the thought of them because we, we knew we couldn't afford them. Would you not slightly think, oh, I maybe need to jump on the trend because if not, then I'm going to look broke. I'm going to look... Thing is, well, no. then that I means drive that we're from Skoda, a completely so different I'm not era. bothered about what it looks I like. Know. You drive a what? Oh, and I have this up. conversation with my daughter and she's know. got an Audi. And why do you need an Audi? Skoda. Young people are too obsessed with their phones and don't live in the... Okay, young people are too obsessed... Okay, yeah, Skoda is a very plain-looking vehicle. I have no idea what year uh, they're referring to. She's referring to here. If I say it's 2024, I'm guessing it's not a 2024. But yeah, this is just a very plain-looking, nothing special vehicle. All right, so uh, young people are too obsessed with their phones and don't live in the real world. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. Guys, they, that's all they know. That's all they know. The real world, it's like it's attached to them. They didn't want to... Put yeah. it down. It's like, you know, put it in your locker or turn it off and put it under there. And they physically can't do it, yeah. which is so sad. Yeah. Because, well, well, somebody might ring or somebody like that. Well, they know you're at work. So why? And really, you're not doing that anyway. You're just, you know, surfing your socials. But then that shows that there's actually a wider issue and that it's not a choice. I genuinely do feel like phones are an addiction. We were the first generation to actually be introduced to social media. We live in a digital world now, mm. as, as scary as it is, but I think that's why it's a lot harder for us to accustom ourselves to and a lot easier for you to stay. I do agree with you on that. Yeah. I mean, it's a lot harder. We need to get rid of the royal family. It's outdated and unnecessary. All right. Um, yeah, yeah absolutely. it's a lot we, harder. We, we need go. to get rid of... Oh, here we go. 
Yeah, guys, yeah, completely. I don't like the idea of a royal family, um, even though I know um, they they don't exist like royal families do in, in like Europe and Africa, right? Um, but we do have kind of these. We have the Trumps, we have the Clintons, we have the Bushes, right? We have all of these just irrelevant people um, and irrelevant families that just continue to plague our existence, bro. And I'm almost positive we're going to have probably have the Obamas too, right? So so just be fully aware, guys, right? We, we don't have royal families, but for some reason, we keep putting these people. They did a job. Thank you. Bye, right? For some reason, <laughs> they still have some type of relevancy uh, to us so, almost on mass. The royal family, it's outdated and unnecessary. I agree. I agree. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> then we better not do that one. Is that even like a hard question? Oh, then. <laughs> People think like we, we left, we left. No, no, we didn't leave nowhere. What am I talking about? Never mind. You know these people. People look up to these people, but they're not different to anybody no, else. No, and I think that it's just outdated in so terms of. Well, people don't. We don't bring any like people say. Oh, they bring money through tourism. Bring, yeah, they, they bring, bring tourism, but I think we would get that anyway. I don't think that they bring tourism at all. No, no, I think because <laughs> plenty more things. They could still be there. Mm. Just look after themselves. I don't, don't get me wrong. The UK is is cool to encounter. Um, it's cool to encounter. You, you guys drive on the wrong side of the road. Uh, so, you know, your food is decent, right? Um, the food specifically that comes from outside of the UK is better. All right. I'm just gonna, listen, I'm here. I'm, I'm, here, I'm here to be honest with you guys. All right. Um, some of your food is. Seasoning is okay, guys. All right. Seasoning is completely okay. Um, but, you know, listen, is, is it beautiful? It can be beautiful occasionally, guys. Um, just be fully aware. I'm not, I've, I don't think I've ever cared too much whenever I visited, at least. I don't think I ever cared at all about your royal family. Like, at all. I don't care. Pay for themselves. Amen. Is that it? Do you feel like this has been hashed out? Yeah, I do. It's been really thought provoking and yeah. it has mm. really made me see things from a, a different point of view. Yes. Things that I wouldn't normally have questioned. But you should have been doing that anyway, like throughout the day. How do you go through, how do people go through their days without questioning every single thing they see or think of? Like, why would Gen Z be the way they are? Why would boomers be the way they are? Why would Gen X be the way they are? What did they grow up in? It's just, just things that should be going through your head anyway. Yeah. Um, what about you? I think that it's been, like you said, super thought provoking mm. in the essence that we've kind of come together as people from completely different generations yeah, very different. and kind of put the world to right yes. and agreed on some points and disagreed on others. No, I do think it has been hashed out. Yeah, so do I. Hmm. I think uh, Gen Z and, and boomers are so different that, I mean, so massively different, like foreign countries different. I'm, uh, I'm telling you, right? Um, I think that that conversation or the idea of a conversation like that could be interesting. I think that's probably why this came to kind of to fruition here. Um, this was a, a better one than the one we did before. I think it was landlords versus renters. Uh, this is absolutely a better uh, conversation. Um, this is basically grandparents and yeah, grandparents probably great grandparents or great grandparents, depending on how nasty your parents were, right? Um, but either way, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.